Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we got a couple of really, really, extremely interesting bodybuilding updates. But as you can see, first we're gonna start with the win of Roman Fritz, who just won the Big Man Pro. We're also gonna talk about Regan Grimes, his most recent update. I don't know if you guys saw this one, it's just uploaded a moment ago. A very, very fresh update that I don't think is on YouTube yet. And also we got a physique update of Hunter Labrada, which you probably saw, but I gotta give my comments on it because Hunter looks better than ever by far, but there is something I'm worried about. But first of all, let's talk about this guy right here, Roman Fritz, who just won a pro show, his first pro win, and he is going to the Mr. Olympia, and honestly guys, I'm really happy for Roman, I'm a big fan of Roman Fritz, I love his personality, I love that he's all about bodybuilding, you guys know how crazy this guy is, I mean, he's like training twice a day, every day, I mean, six days a week, and he's eating like, I don't know, 3000 grams of carbs a day, and he's doing all this crazy stuff, I mean, a person who does that has no time for anything else in their life aside from bodybuilding. And the absolute only way you're gonna be able to do something like that is if you are totally and fully in love with bodybuilding, with all your heart. And that is the case with Roman Fritz. I mean, this guy is bodybuilder's bodybuilder. He is, this guy is bodybuilding. And he finally won a bodybuilding show, pro show. And he is going to the show of all shows, Mr. Olympia. Uh, how well will he do over there, like is he a potential to be like top 10 or to place in like top 15, uh, let's be honest, no, no, I mean, I don't want to put this guy down, but like let's be honest, the show that he just won is probably the weakest show of the year, but still, I mean, if he wins a pro show and he goes to the Mr. Olympia, that means that he is one of the, one of like 20 best bodybuilders in the world this year, which is a tremendous success, but like on this channel we talk about like the top 10, top 5 Olympians, so in that conversation he is not really at that level yet, he might be someday, I doubt it honestly, because I think he's already pushing himself to the limits and this is what he got, but still, I mean, he has a sponsor, he's being paid to compete, and now he's going to the Mr. Olympia, what else, did, what else would you want, I mean, I would sell my kidney to have a career like this, so yeah, he's living it, I mean, he's doing it, he's killing it, and he just won a pro show, I'm sure he's happy beyond measure. But, now, let's take a look at this top two, let's see who he was against, really, and uh, how, how easy was this victory, really? It was a really, really close battle between Roman and Emir Omeragic. Yeah, that's how you pronounce his name, he is from over here, where I'm from, from Balkans, actually from Montenegro, couple of my close friends know him personally, and this kid is born in 1999 or 2000, so he's like 23, 24 years old, 25 max, so he's a youngster, he's a very, very young bodybuilder, and still, I'm saying, this was a very, very close battle. Like, in a couple of shots, it was very, very close. In a couple of body parts, Emir was beating Roman. For example, glutes. Take a look at how sharp Emir's glutes are. I mean, Roman's glutes are also very, very hard, very peeled, but Emir's glutes are even harder. Now, hamstrings, I would go with Roman. He's definitely more detailed and just more developed in that regard. And just the overall leg size. And I think that's mainly the reason why Roman won. He has more mass in the legs. Take a look at the adductors. Take a look at where their legs are connecting, like in between. And also take a look at the outer sweep from behind, like the overall mass, the silhouette. So for sure, Roman was bigger, especially in the legs, when it comes to like the, 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 the pop to the sides. Now, as far as the side leg, Emir has more details. And Roman's posing with legs is horrible for some reason. But as far as upper body, size-wise, these guys were really, really close. Maybe Roman is a tiny bit better, bigger, but like it's very, very close. Now, as far as shape, Amir has better shape. So I'm gonna say right now, maybe he isn't able to win this show right now, again, at the age of like 24, 25, but this guy has the potential. He has all the tools necessary to be like top 10 Olympian one day. One day, not now. I mean, again, he's not even 25. When he's like 30, 30 something, he's gonna be dangerous. Roman, he's pretty much maxed out. I don't think Roman looked this good ever. I don't see him getting much better than this. 
we all know that he's one of the craziest guys out there who are doing the most extreme things to get to this level, so I don't think there's much room left to progress. But Emir, he has a lot more room to grow, and with his shape, with his structure, and with his ability to get conditioned, because both of these guys were super shredded, check this out, like, these guys were peeled, peeled. And that's why this was such a close battle, because the conditioning was very, very close. Upper back from behind, I would go with Emir, because he's more detailed, he has just better development, better structure in that regard, but again, Roman is overall a little bit bigger. Uh, look, look at the details, like in the lower back, in the upper back, everywhere. So, I mean, Emir has that structure, that, 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 that graininess in the muscle, like those details, the depth of the cuts, the striations and everything. Everything that is required for from a bodybuilder to become like the very, very best, the very top of bodybuilding. He has it, he has all the tools. It just gonna take some time, you know. Right now, he's not ready to win shows, but next year, I'm sure he's gonna win a show. But in five years, this guy is gonna be like maybe top six Olympian. I can see that. His biggest problem, I think, is him competing way too often. I don't know if he's obligated by a contract from his sponsor or something like that. But if he wanted to really make an impact, he would have to take some time off to really grow because. As far as conditioning, as far as details, as far as structure, everything is just top-notch. He just needs to be bigger, and he's going places, man. Now, let's focus on Roman, who actually won this show. Roman definitely brought his absolute best ever. The best combination of conditioning and size and fullness. When I was watching his update, like, uh, one or two days before this show, I told you guys that I'm only worried if Roman is gonna mess up his fullness, I was not worried about his conditioning, I knew he was gonna be shredded, and you can see he is completely shredded, but he did not uh, ruin his fullness, he came in full this time, but like on a word, he was super super peeled, he could have been even fuller and less conditioned, and I think he would have won this show even easier, because still it would have been awesome conditioning, but if he was a bit fuller and bigger, he would look just more impressive, he would dwarf Emir even more. So if he wants to really nail it, actually I like this, this pose, the way he's doing this crazy side tricep. Uh, it's, it's weird, it's unorthodox, but it looks good. Uh, if he wants to do really well at the Mr. Olympia, I mean the best that he can do, I think he should go for like insane level of fullness. Because we never saw this guy spilled over, I, I don't think we ever saw this guy too full. But we did see him too flat, over dieted, we never saw this guy out of shape, I think he should try to get out of shape, I mean get conditioned, decently conditioned, and then just carb up as heavy as possible without ruining his waistline, and just showing up super full, blasting full, and see what happens, I mean this here was like a perfect peak, pretty much, like he's super shredded and he's not flat. So this is like the best version of Roman that we saw so far, and this is a perfect peak. But with his muscularity, I don't think he can truly challenge the big boys. The only way I think he can have a fighting chance is if he tries and bring crazy crazy fullness to that stage. But we'll see what his game plan is gonna be, anyways, he won this show, he looked awesome, I'm really happy for Roman, I wish him all the luck in his prep for the Mr. Olympia, and I wanna see him blasting full at that show, what do you guys think, tell me down below. Alright, now Regan Grimes, with his most recent physique update, did you guys see this one? I don't think I saw this on YouTube, I saw some other updates of his recent ones as well on YouTube, but not this one, when I saw the other one, actually let me show you the other one. So when I saw this one, I wasn't sure what to think, uh, I wasn't uh, at home, I was on the road, so I, didn't, I wasn't able to make a video about it, but I was thinking, I was telling to some people who, who sent me this update on my Instagram, I was saying, I'm not sure if he really progressed, I mean, I can see some, you know, fullness in the chest and the shoulders, and chest was a weakness for him, so maybe he progressed, I don't know about the legs, are the legs bigger? I don't know about the conditioning, since he's competing in like 5 weeks, so I wasn't sure if he really made any progress, but the other update, it's different, and in this update, check out the, the last comment here, Mikhail Krizhe, this guy is busting everybody's balls, I mean, this guy is hilarious, he says, bulking? <laughs> because, <laughs> because, yeah, this conditioning looks like off-season conditioning, I mean, Mikhail Krizhe probably looks more conditioned in his off-season, and Regan, 
is five, six weeks out. So for for that many weeks out, I would expect him to be in better condition. But I, I guess Milos Artev knows what he's doing. I guess this is not a mistake. I don't think Regan is cheating on his diet. That's probably this is probably a game plan. Maybe they're gonna pull hard in the last couple of weeks. I have no idea what they're planning to do. I'm pretty sure Regan is be Regan is gonna be in a decent shape, but like right now, this is not exactly super shredded. Now the more the more recent update. Wow, wow, right? I mean, how much the lighting can change the look of a physique? I mean, the previous photo was like daily lighting, uh, he was just standing next to a window and that's it. I hate that lighting, man. I hate when my clients send me uh, updates under lighting like that. I mean, I can't really see what is going on. You don't want to look like that on stage. You don't want to have daily lighting, sunlight, whatever. This is going to be what you're going to look like on stage. There's going to be artificial light from above and this is, this is like the best way you're going to look. So yeah, maybe you can call this, I don't know, anabolic lighting, uh, uh, goon lighting, whatever, but this is closer to what you're gonna look like on stage, and that's what matters. So in this, in this photo right here, man, Regan looks crazy. I don't think I ever saw him look this impressive in a physique update. I mean, especially that chest and shoulder fullness. I mean, we noticed that in that first uh, previous physique update, but it wasn't like this, man, it wasn't like this. This is probably in the gym after he trained, something like, he probably had a push day, he probably, he probably trained chest and like, maybe, uh, maybe some triceps, maybe some shoulders, because he's really full through that upper, upper chest and like, shoulder area, he is blasting full, and like, his legs, I think his legs are like his second weakest body part, Aside from, his, aside from his chest, and they are looking pretty good, we all know his back is insane, we all know he has like one of the craziest hamstrings of all time, I'm not exaggerating, like, I don't know if you guys know, but he has insane hamstrings, uh, the quads and the chest, and maybe even the arms, not his best suits, but here, everything looks good, like, he looks really full, really, really full-blown, and just really amazing, so, I don't know, he is gonna be competing against uh, Gudvito in Europa Pro in like 5 weeks, can he beat that guy, man, I don't know, like in this previous show in Big Man Pro that, that Roman won, I'm pretty sure Roman's name had something to do with it, like he has been competing for years and years and he has been trying to win and he was second at shows and I, I do think he deserved, I do think he beat Emir, but if it was even closer, they would have given it to, to Roman, because his name is bigger, and I'm not saying there are politics, it's just like the human factor in the judges, they would look at him more, so now with this new upcoming show, I mean, Good Vito is extremely popular, but Regan, he has been around for a long, long time, and the judges are gonna probably pay more attention to him, now we'll see, is it gonna be close, I don't know, maybe it's not gonna be close at all, maybe Regan is gonna blow away, Good Vito, or Good Vito is gonna blow Regan Grimes out of the water, we'll see. So if, if it is close though, I think it would more likely go to Regan's favor, but I don't know, I mean, looking at these photos, I, I still think Good Vito has less weaknesses, I think his legs are bigger and fuller, I think his arms are bigger and fuller, I think his chest is also better, uh, maybe Regan has better back, but that's about it. It's largely gonna be about who has better conditioning, uh, fullness, who brings better peak overall, and based on what I saw so far, I think Kudvito, I, would, I think Kudvito has an advantage, I think he's gonna be more like grainy, more matured, more detailed, he's gonna have deeper cuts, I mean, Regan, he has that fluffy look, like he has the fullness usually, he has nice aesthetics, good symmetry, good proportions, perfect, perfect, perfect aesthetics, man, for bodybuilding, crazy, like, he was really good in classic physique as well, but he was way too big, and now he's, like, a huge classic physique guy, so he has beautiful lines, but is he, like, you know, grainy and detailed and matured the way, the way good Vito is, I don't know, we'll see, it's gonna be a very interesting comparison, but, like, in this physique update, man, Regan looks really impressive, I don't think I ever, looked, I ever saw him looking this impressive so far in a physique update, I hope this is going to get, I hope this is going to translate to the stage, and I hope he's going to get more conditioned, way more conditioned, peeled on that stage, and, and full as well at the same time, 
and that's gonna be a deadly package for sure all right and lastly lastly we got a physique update of hunter labrada in which he looks by far by far the best he ever looked overall ever really so like he's definitely like without a doubt the most conditioned the driest the most detailed we ever saw this guy and he did not sacrifice the fullness the size he is still massive and also the fact is this was taken one week out and that is usually the time when you are the most depleted look at the back look at the freaking details and the dryness and his back now looks phenomenal <laughs> his back was always the weakness but because it was never really conditioned enough now look at the hit christmas tree jesus now that he's that he's finally conditioned look at the back lat spread look at the width and the detail look at this wow like the back actually looks much improved and now that he's conditioned it looks that much better you can see that he is a tiny bit flat but i love this look if he stepped out on the stage looking like this he would have nailed it i mean he's competing against andrew jacked and carlos thomas jr I mean, we don't know what kind of conditioning Carlos Thomas Jr. is gonna bring, but we know he's probably gonna have the biggest legs and the biggest arms, the biggest everything, front body-wise. We don't know about, the, about his back. Andrew Jack, since this is his second prep with Chris Asito, and Chris learned his body, we know Andrew Jack is gonna be amazing. But my safest bet would be on this guy, because look at this. Look at this. I mean, this guy was fourth at the Mr. Olympia at one point. Last year, he didn't really nail it. And that, that's why he was only 7th, still beat Andrew Jack, but 7th, now looking like this, I have my hope back in Hunter Labrada. Now, I said there is one thing that I'm worried about, and this is what he wrote in the caption of this post. What he says here are pure facts, I mean, this cannot be denied, this is just normal, it's logic, but it's still worrying me. He says, 7 days out, it's a very cool thing to me that this is the worst, I will look for the next week... And I could have put a tan on this morning and smoked any look I've ever brought to the stage by a mile. And I completely agree with Hunter with this statement. This is absolutely true. He also says uh, this is one day removed from doing an hour and a half of cardio a day and eating 450 grams of fries total for over a month. This is uh, cooked weight, of course. Minus a refeed uh, for a guest posing. Uh, I don't say that to sound hardcore, I say that because I'm excited to see what I look like once we drop some fatigue off me and fill me out. Now, again, this is normal, this is expected, this is logical. You deplete, usually, I mean, you, you, you diet down, you diet hard, you get shredded, you get dry, you get flat, and then you let your body relax, recover, and you fill it out with carbs, but... I mean, here's the thing, the reason, the, the, the problem with Hunter, if he ever had a problem, it was with conditioning. Now, was it simply body fat percent issue? I hope it was, because it could have been just water retention issue. And now, I mean, he is dry, he looks amazing. And as he says, if you just put tan on right now, he would have destroyed every previous version of himself, ever. But, would he destroy, would he even beat andrew jacked and carlos thomas jr looking like this is this too flat for them would this be too small could he look better if he carved up i don't know probably yeah he probably could but there is also a slight chance of him spilling over so that's now that's a risky business and i hope him and his coach ben chow know what they're doing i hope they're going to nail it I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mess with it. I would just go into the show with the same diet that he has been doing so far. Yeah, drop off the fatigue, you know, stop, let's say do a little bit less of cardio. But I don't know, I wouldn't do a crazy carb up. Maybe a little bit, you know, be really careful. Not do anything drastic. Don't dehydrate too much. He's already dehydrated. Like, there is no water anywhere. I mean, he could get just a little bit dehydrated and a little bit more filled out. And that's it that's it why would he mess with anything because he looks perfect right now i'm pretty sure with this look he would win texas but if he can look like 20 percent better then that's gonna be i don't know that's gonna be crazy man oh i don't know i hope he actually improves on this because 
I don't know if it is possible. I don't know if he can improve, improve that much. Because right now he looks 10 times better than he ever looked on stage. How much better can he really get? We'll see. It's going to be interesting. Once again, as, some, as I said, there is a big risk of him ruining this whole thing and just coming in uh, spilled over once again. I hope that's not going to happen. I hope he's just so shredded and he's not going to do anything crazy and he's just going to show up crispy like this and just a little bit fuller and rounder and just destroy everything, everybody. We'll see. It's going to be a very interesting show, Tampa and Texas both. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you guys enjoy my content and you want to support me and help me keep making all these kind of videos, you can support me by buying any of the old school lab supplements. I suggest to you Vintage Brown. It's the pre it's a protein powder from the old school labs. It's freaking delicious. There are so many different flavors. You can choose your own. Just make sure you use the code EVAN, try it, let me know on my G how you like it. If you guys don't like it, you can return it and get your money back as well. But I guarantee you, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. So once again, if you wanna support me, use the code EVAN, buy anything you want, anything you like. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. See you soon, thank you so much for the following, all the best and bye-bye.